Dear students, so we have learned about applying formulas and functions in Microsoft Excel in the spreadsheet environment and now we are ready to uh, make usage of those functions and formulas to solve some real problems. So in this uh, particular topic, we will be practicing functions using student result card application. So for example, you have uh, enrolled in a university and you are being evaluated for quizzes, assignments and some other evaluation criteria and then at the end your grade is calculated. So we will try to simulate all of such things in Microsoft Excel using those formulas which we have learned already. So let's start the practical. So here is a file which I have uh, computed for you and this is basically ITC result card and let's try to merge cell so that it looks really good right and let's go into the kind of this so this is itc result we have student names they have appeared in five quizzes and i have entered the name name of the students and their numbers in all of five quizzes and let's see that our um, evaluation mechanism is uh, following that uh, the quizzes will have weightage of 20% for example the assignments will have 20% the midterm 20% and final term is 40% so today we will try to compute uh, your grade and uh, this this kind of mechanism is normally used to calculate the grades in the semester system so for example this ali has appeared in 1 2 3 4 5 quizzes and in all of these quizzes, uh, Ali has achieved uh, marks like 8 in first quiz, 5 in second quiz, and so on. And the total marks of these quizzes were 50. So, if we want to calculate the 20% weightage, we will say equal to sum and B4, the first quiz, until F4, the last quiz. So this will give us the sum. So for example, you can see that Ali has achieved 37 out of 50. But we want to take 20% weightage of these 50. So what we will do, we will divide it with 50. So it will give us a unit and then we will multiply with 20. So out of 20, Ali has achieved 14.8 and then you can copy this formula in the next cells similarly for assignments you can see that we will say equal to sum and h4 until j4 so there are three assignments divided by 30 because total marks of these assignments were 30 i am assuming that each assignment and each, each quiz comprises of 10 marks and then multiplied by 20. So this student has achieved 13 out of 20 and I am going to copy it and then in midterm out of 60 this student has achieved 58 and so on so I will say equal to L4 which is 58 divided by 60 so I am getting the uh, unit and then multiplied with 20. So out of 20, this student has acquired 19 marks and I'm going to copy this and then out of the 100 marks final paper, this student has achieved 89, 96 and so on. So we will see equal to N4 which is 89 divided by 100 because total marks are 100 and multiplied by 40 because the weightage is 40%. So we have this one. So 40, 20, 60, 20, 80 and 20, 100. So in 100% marks, we will, what we are going to do, we are going to add G4, which is the 20% average of quizzes plus K4 plus M4 plus 04. So you can see that 
I'm going to add these numbers and this will become actually the 100% marks. And let's try to format it, uh, sorry, let's try to format it with number, with, for example, uh, one decimal place. And then you are going to copy this formula. And then I have used another formula uh, which we are going to discuss now. So all of these we had discussed, we are just we have just applied in this scenario, and this is a formula of if. So here we are going to say that if this P4, which is at the moment 83.1, is greater than or equal to 90, then write it over here A, comma then you need to write the else part. If it's not greater than or equal to 90, what should be the case? In that case, you are again using an if, that if it's not greater than or equal to 90, so please check whether P4 is greater than or equal to 80, then write B. Otherwise, if P4 is greater than or equal to 70, write C. Otherwise, if P4 is greater than or equal to 50, write D. And otherwise, write and I have closed all of the brackets. So when I use this formula, I'm going to copy this. So this is basically the overall grade of all of the students. So two students have achieved B and then many students have achieved D and then one student has achieved F. So let's try to uh, make this particular grade, grade as A. So, for example, this Akbar has achieved 9 in first quiz, 9 in second quiz, 9 in third quiz, 9 is fourth quiz, and 9 is fifth quiz, right? And then assignments, 9, 9. And then in the midterm, so out of 60, 58. And then, for example, uh, in the final term, 98. And then you can see that this student has achieved A grade. And whatever the changes we are making in the actual data cells are being represented in the last column. So, dear students, uh, let's conclude today's module. We have learned that how those formulas which we have learned previously can be used in practical scenarios. And we have taken the practical example of student result card application and we have created the student result card. And in the next module, we will come up with another application area to make you more comfortable and confident in Microsoft Excel and especially using the formulas.